Hello, uh, this is Zach from Muser. Imagine a scenario where you have a bunch of questions on your spreadsheet, Google spreadsheet. It can also be Microsoft Excel, it doesn't matter. But what you want to do is you want to ask those questions to ChatGPT and write the answers here. So in the, with user, we are going to automate this process and it's going to take probably somewhere around five minutes for you to do it on your environment. So let's start to do it. What you all need to do is you just like first need to copy this scenario, which I'm going to share and then create a new scenario or workflow, however you want to call it. Go to scenario. Paste it here. And there is some tricky part here, this line. This line, which you need to do manually. I will also show you right now. Just delete this, save. And then how we need to do is, is just you need to say click, take a screenshot and take a screenshot five minutes, five seconds later. I will come back here, close this also. See that like I have on the left side, Google and on the right side, ChatGPT. Okay, it's ready. So the tricky part here is that we need to understand and tell user agent that the response is ready because ChatGPT sometimes responds very late or it can uh, take a long time. So for to be able to understand the response is actually ready, what we are doing here is that when you, uh, oh, wrong button, when the response is ready, only when the response is ready, you are going to see those three icons. So we are going to just uh, take a screenshot of those icons and then search for it for to make sure that my response is ready. But there is also one more tricky part here. You see that like there are actually four icons. You may ask why you did not take only, why you did not take four icons altogether. And there is a reason for this. So uh, we are going to search for this image. We are going to search for this image to make sure that the response is ready. And also I choose only three of them because in user, when you want to click an image, this is the screenshot of the image. When you want to click an image, it just clicks the middle of the image. In that case, I take here and I will say like click this image. It will actually click this point, which means the copy icon. And I'm sure you get it. And I say like click this image. It will just like actually make sure that the response is ready. And on top of that, it will copy the response for me. This is exactly what I need. And also one more question here. You would say that like, let's not take three of them, but take one only here. This is also for on purpose because we have, we have image search works in user is that it looks at the image, try to find this. If it cannot find the exact version, it try to find something similar. So since this is a small icon, Sometimes it can find some similar icons on the screen, which looks like this, but it's not the copy icon. So for that reason, to be sure, 100% sure that I will find all the time the place which I want to find, I take like bigger picture, including other icons, and I will click only the middle part. So hope it's not confusing for you, but this is how it works and how you need to know. This is also you need to know. Uh, I will call this copy icon, save, and all what I need to do is I can just, let's go to basic mode, assume that we don't have anything here, what we are going to do is click image and choose our copy icon here, yes, that's it. So to be able to run this scenario, you know, like I especially did not, uh, create like go to Google Docs or something else. This is much easier way for many, many people. This is the benefit of user actually. You don't need to just need to log in each time. It works directly what you have on your screen. So I just already opened Google Docs on the left side. So you don't need to go to login, try to uh, overcome the capture issues or all the other things. Everything is open, ready in front of me, which you can do one time and then you can run the scenario. So let's run this. I will explain the steps while it's running. What it does is, first of all, it 
click text Google, which is on the top. It's already started. After this, it takes the first cell. Make sure that you highlighted the first cell in the beginning. Then paste this to ChatGPT. Hit enter, wait for our image. Now click the copy, come back to Google again. Click right button, paste and go to next line. So all the scenario is ready here. So actually our scenario is only for uh, one line. Imagine that the uh, what you want to do is just like you want to do this for not one line very clearly. You want to do this for like 20, 30 lines. What you can do is you can copy and paste this 20 times, then 20 times, however you wish. Or imagine that you have like 1000 lines. Of course, you don't uh, copy and paste 1000 times this. There is another way which is called jobs. Let me explain you this. And this is the part if you have like thousands of those. I will close this now. And how you do it, you create a job. Job is basically a set of scenarios which you run on a scheduled base. So what I mean by that is just, I will add the scenario inside this job and this job can run one time in the future or it can run daily, weekly, or uh, by each minute. Each minute, this minute is the minimum uh, time. So since my scenario is actually takes somewhere around like 20 seconds to complete all the cycle, one line can be completed probably in 20 seconds. I choose to do it in one minute. Imagine that I have thousand lines. It means it's going to take thousand minutes. Uh, one minute is the way to go at the moment for us. So I will say, okay, I will not activate my job in the beginning. I will choose my agent. My agent is Zekeria. I will click save. Uh, and then what I will do is I will add my scenario inside here. You can add one scenario, multiple scenario. Maybe you have like combined scenarios. So this is how you can run them. So this is actually how you can automate thousands of line in user. You just like click save and make sure that you come back to initial place because this is the place where a uh, screen should stay. And after that moment, it will try to pick up, start to run and continue execution. Just like for you to let you know, it will take a while for to start in the beginning because it's run each minute, which means that from the next minute, it will start to execute. I will not wait for all the minutes. But this is how you want, how you, if you want to run thousand lines, this is how you can automate your uh, scenario. I'm sure it's going to take less than five minutes for you. Uh, I hope you like it. Take care.